Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a Silhouette Sunday video. I know it's been a really long time since I have posted anything and I think I may have to do a formal update to let everyone know what was going on. Um, I'm fine, I haven't left crafting, it had to do with work and all this other jazz, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video. So the projects I'm working on today are actually shirts for my mom and I to wear when we go Black Friday shopping. Unfortunately, this video is going to be posted well after, well, not well after Black Friday, but after Black Friday. But what I'm going to be doing applies to different designs. So this may give you some ideas or some inspiration for um, creating your own project later. So with that said, I am working on Black Friday shirts for my mother and I. And what I have decided to do is to use a pre-made design that I found on Etsy that I really like from a um, designer. And one thing that I really like from this particular designer on Etsy is that her files are editable. Sometimes when you buy pre-made SVG files, everything is stuck in one place. The, the design is the design. It's, it's pretty well locked. You can't edit it. But I know that this particular person tends to make her designs where you can move the pieces around and I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the design. So I'm gonna go up to file and then click open. And it's actually this design right here. You get several and I'll link to this in the description box down below. But I'm gonna open the SVG version because I do have um, the designer series. And the, the design I wanna use is this up all night to get lucky. And it says hashtag Black Friday at the bottom. Now the design actually looks good as is, but I would actually prefer for it to be a little tighter. Um, like I said, overall, I like the design itself, but I would prefer it to be laid out a little differently. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is right click the design and then go to ungroup. And you'll see all these little gray boxes pop up because all of these pieces are movable. Now, not everything is movable as is, but this is enough to get me started for what I had in, in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on these little shopping bags and move them over here and change this around a little bit. And I'm actually gonna shrink them down. So I'm gonna have these here, and this Black Friday, I would actually prefer to be smaller, even though we are Black Friday shopping. So I'm gonna shrink this down so it fits in this space right here. So that looks pretty good as is. And next, I'm going to set up for cutting, which is actually gonna be really easy. I'm gonna draw a box around everything once I'm sure I like where it is right click and then go ahead and group it back together. And that way I can resize this because when you're doing t-shirts, it's bigger is usually better. Um, the vinyl I'm working with is um, Sisser Easy Weed. So I know it's about 12 inches wide. So I'm gonna go the full length, or excuse me, I should say the full width. but you have to make sure you stay within that red line because that's actually the, the width of the machine, the actual cutting space. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change my page setup so that it knows, the machine knows that I'm cutting off of a roll of vinyl. So my page setup window is actually already open, but if you don't have it open, it's right here. You go ahead and click that piece of paper and then it's going to default usually to whatever your machine is. So I have a Cameo, so it's gonna say automatically Cameo but I'm actually going to change it to a custom size. So if I go down and click on custom, I can now change this so that it is 12 inches wide. And I'm just gonna say 24 inches long so that I can cut longer because I'm cutting off a continuous roll of vinyl. And then I'm going to select no cutting mat for this particular design. So now I know that my design will fit in the space that I have available. And at this point, you have to read the directions on whatever it is that you are using. Some materials require you to mirror and some materials do not. You just have to read the actual directions. For my material, it actually does say in the directions to cut your design in the reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the image and then I'm going to go over to the right hand side on that menu bar and click the replicate panel. And I just need to mirror it to one side or the other. It doesn't really matter which side you choose. 
So I'm going to go ahead and select the original and just delete it off my mat because I don't need it. And because I need two of these shirts, I'm going to go ahead and replicate it now and replicate one below so I can cut both designs at once. So now I'm all ready to ooh, machine computer beeped at me. I don't know if you guys heard that. Now I'm going to go ahead and send this to um, the silhouette to cut out and weed my design out and get it ready to press onto my shirt. I have my design all cut out and before I can apply it to my project, I actually have to weed out the portions that I don't want. So I'm going to use a light pad. And in this case, I'm actually using the uh, Cricut Bright Pad, which I've discovered is the brightest one that I've been able to find. And it helps me see where the weed lines are to go ahead and pick out the pieces I don't need. Now on the large sections of the design, it doesn't really matter too much where the lines are. But when you start getting into the little sections, like in between the shopping bags, it really does help to use a backlight to see what pieces you need to pull and what pieces you need to leave behind. I did have one casualty during the weeding process, and that was actually the hashtag that goes behind Black Friday. And you'll see that I ended up cutting out a separate one to apply to um, this particular shirt in just a few minutes. Once I finished weeding out the design, I moved on to prepping my work surface and I have an OmniGrid heat pad. And on top of that heat pad, I'm laying out the shirt and the actual design so that I can prepare to press it in place. And even though this is Silhouette Sunday, I am using a lot of Cricut products in this video. Um, I actually do have the Cricut Easy Press and it works fairly well for pressing designs on. So you just set the, click the button basically and set it on the design and move it from section to section. Once I've gone over the design evenly and I'm certain that it has been pressed down, I'm going to go ahead and remove that backer sheet and that is it for the shirt. You can see that I went back and I added the little hashtag to Black Friday. So here is a look at the final product. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.